Are you a fan of the great old ones in Lovecraftian horror? Well, stick around. We're talking with Alan Barr from Gallant Night Games about their latest title, Tiny Cthulhu, that's currently on Kickstarter right now. You're on Kickstarter right now with uh, with Tiny Cthulhu. Uh, how long has this been in the development, uh, Gallant Night Games? Oh my gosh, I think I started writing it in 2017. It's been a while. Wow, wow, that long. Do you want to tell folks uh, a little bit about, uh, if folks are not familiar with the Tiny D6 system, you want to give sure. just the brief overview of, of how the yeah. mechanics work? So first on the Kickstarter page, we have a link to an actual play we did on Victory Condition Gaming, where you can kind of see it in action. Uh, but in a nutshell, you need anywhere from one to three six-sided dice, uh, an average test, or when you want to do something risky, you roll two dice on a five or six, you do the thing. If you have advantage, you roll three dice. Uh, if you have disadvantage, you roll one. And that's it, that's the whole game. You just need any dice to show a five or six, all attacks do and damage. The goal is to have a really quick, easy to teach, easy to learn rule set that kind of just gets out of the way really quickly. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how much the of this game is, is completed and how much how much you have left to do before uh, before sure. getting it to, to, to backers? So the core and all the mechanical portions as well as the first two micro settings are done. There's an adventure, there's all the rules and there's two micro settings ready to go. Um, we also have 25 pieces of art all done and in there. So really the core like 40 to 60 pages of the game is finished, it's done. It's edited, it's in, already in layout. What we're hoping to do is get more on top of that because we really like these tiny books to come in around 200 pages you know that's a sweet spot as a publisher for both retail um and pdf but also you know it really gives everybody who wants to use it the most content they can get and it's a great way to do that if folks are fans of the tiny d6 system what does tiny cthulhu do a little bit differently than than the previous games sure so one it adds uh corruption mechanics to represent how the mythos interacts with the reality as you perceive it um, so there's new uh, new mechanics around that. There's a slew of new traits. All of the archetypes are new. There's uh, at least seven new archetypes uh, of what kind of character you can be. Um, it adds a new bestiary that you could uh, easily integrate with other Tiny Six games if you wanted to. It's all compatible. So there, all that's new. Previous Kickstarters, you've you've had um, micro settings. Uh, I hear that this, this project is going to be a little bit different. You're going to have micro settings and you're going to have adventures. Do you want to tell folks a little bit about uh, the switch over from that? Uh, yeah. You know, from, from wh why you're changing that a little bit? Yeah. So one of the things we always get asked for is a lot of adventures. And the best way to get them delivered is in the book. And so instead of just doing just micro settings, we're actually going to roll in some adventure stretch goals. And they'll be standalone PDF adventures. So they won't be in the book per se, but they'll come oh, nice. okay. the backers bundled. You'll be able to get them separately too. Basically, we're gonna try to do one adventure for every few micro settings we do. Um, and our goal is to showcase cosmic horror storytelling outside of sort of the, I don't wanna call it the, the default, but the assumed setting of a lot of Lovecraftian stuff is like kind of the 1920s, 1930s. And that's great, that's a lot of fun. Sure. There's a lot you can do around that. So we've got like Stone Age, got Bronze Age, we got some of the World Wars, we've got like science fiction, Lovecraftian horror, uh, how, to, how to integrate it with superheroes. So we're doing these micro settings that really you're trying to push how that storytelling plays out into different genres. Um, and a lot of other games have done that, but our goal is to kind of make as comprehensive a toolkit inside the Tiny Six system as you need for that cosmic horror storytelling. Can you divulge any of the folks that uh, will be working on this uh, stretch goal material? Oh man, we have a lot. So if you've uh, if you've read any tiny books before, you're going to see some names that come back. I know uh, Steffi Devon, uh, Liz Chaipratikul, um, Marty Murdoch, Jack Norris. Uh, we have some new folks who haven't written for one of our core books before. Um, you know Ben Monroe, who used to work with Cassie on Call Cthulhu a lot, is working on this with us. Uh, we got a lot. Let's talk a little bit about the the pledge levels. Uh, yep. Folks can back just just for the PDF. Um, I think that's like $15, if I'm not yep, mistaken. Yes, that's $15. It'll probably retail for about 20 okay. when we get it out there. So, Excellent. So your folks are getting a discount by backing the Kickstarter. Yeah, yep. You know, I mean, the Kickstarter folks are taking a risk in a sense in that if we don't raise as much money, the book won't be as big. So when they say they're pledging 15 bucks for the PDF, they're really putting their faith in our ability to deliver something worth that 15 bucks, no matter what. 
Um, and, and I like to think we always do, but they, they also get the benefit of maybe they're getting a really good deal. Sure. Absolutely. So that's just how it should be in my opinion. Now you do have a, a $25 level, which gives you a yeah. PDF and a soft cover Correct. Uh, version of the book. Um, is that like a print on demand or is that something? No, that it's a, it'll okay. be an offset print run. Um, but the goal of the book only one is it makes it be a lot easier for a lot of people, both international and inside the U.S. And so we like to offer that in case you're just looking for something like you can get media mail. And then you've got a $40 uh, pledge level, which gives you a whole bunch of various, uh, you know, accessories with, yep. with the uh, with the game. Uh, you want to tell folks a little bit about uh, what, what yeah. this is that level? So this is kind of our bread and butter standard pledge level. Um, this is, you get the soft cover, you get the special 3D6 for Tiny Cthulhu. Um, they're kind of a Art Deco style, slightly larger, uh, 19 millimeter 3D6 from Black Oak Workshop, and they also glow in the dark. Uh, they they do amazing work. Yeah, they they've done our they did our Tiny Supers, they did Tiny Wastelanders, they do great this. So uh, we're thrilled to be working with them again, and they had a great design and a great idea. And they go in the dark and they're so pretty and I just can't wait. Um, and then there's the GM screen, which will be a little foldable GM screen. Uh, we've done them on our previous Kickstarters before, if you've seen them. Um, but they're they're roughly like 15 inches by four inches and they fold into a trifold little kind of cardstock GM screens. Um, designed to be portable and then the PDF and all stretch goals. Awesome. Now you do have one other uh, pledge level that is above that, which is like, you kind of it's your deluxe uh, pledge level which if folks yeah. really want to dive headfirst into uh tiny cthulhu this is the this is the the level to uh to back at uh uh why don't you tell folks a, a little bit about this because i know that it involves a hardcover version of this of this game which is really cool yeah so uh there's the deluxe pledges are really popular um they're probably our most popular reward on a lot of our kickstarters um, the fans really like them, which is great. Uh, so what it is, is you get a, you get a deluxe hardcover edition that's only available on the Kickstarter. Uh, and sometimes a little bit after if we have extras, we donate them to charity or sometimes we'll run a limited sale or whatever. But generally the only way to get it and guarantee it is the Kickstarter. And then, so you get that really nice hardcover. Um, and then you get a soft cover to use at your table. So you don't have to ruin your really nice collector's edition if you want that. Um, but the contents are the same. It's just, uh, they're, they're different, you know, the hardcover, soft cover. Um, you get a storage bag, handmade storage bag that will hold all the books in it. You get the dice, you get the GM screen, you get the PDF. And so you get this really portable bundle that has everything in it. Because right, so you can just kind of put it all in that bag and throw it in your backpack and go to a convention or uh, to your uh, your friend's house and, and play some Tiny tiny Cthulhu. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited about this project. Uh, like I said, I know it's a project that a lot of folks have been clamoring for. So it's, it's uh, really exciting to see how it's going to just take off on Kickstarter. I have no doubt that it's not going to be, it's going to be a, a huge success for, for uh, gallon night games. So uh, good luck to you and this Kickstarter. And uh, hopefully once it's all said and done, we've locked, unlocked a whole bunch of content for tiny Cthulhu. All right, folks, I'm going to tell you, if you are backing the tiny uh, Cthulhu Kickstarter, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you uh, are a big fan of tiny D six and you're excited to uh, have this in your tiny D six library, uh, and also make sure to hit that like button down below. So that way, uh, you know, we pop up, uh, this video pops up a little bit uh, uh, more on the uh, YouTube analytics because we want to make sure lots of people know all about Tiny D6 and all the awesome games that Gallon Night Games uh, is putting out. All right, Alan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if folks want to know more about uh, you and Gallon Night Games, where should they go? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Alan Barr. Uh, you can find Gallant Night Games on Twitter at Gallant K Games. GallantNightGames.com is our website. We have a Discord. There's an official Facebook group if you go looking for that. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this session. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Remember, winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. We'll see you next time. Bye now.